Hi, Eli. Today we're going to do Tiggy Goes to the Hospital. This book was one of your daddy and TT Mai and Jada's favorites. There's Tiggy. Okay, let's get close. Can you see? Tiggy was taking her brand new carriage for a walk along the garden path when she saw her friend Tracy at the gate. She was so eager to show Tracy her carriage that she forgot to keep a firm hold of it. The carriage began to run away. It ran into the road under the wheels of Mr. Weasel's truck. Tiggy ran after her new carriage. She ran into the road and Mr. Weasel's truck gave her a nasty bump. Oh no, she ran into the road. Poor Mr. Weasel was very upset. I'll call the ambulance. He said to Tiggy's mother. The ambulance came at once and the kind ambulance man lifted Tiggy inside. Don't cry, Tiggy, he said. Your mommy can ride with you in the ambulance. Tiggy's friend Tracy wished she could ride in the ambulance too. Tiggy wanted to be brave as she lay quite still under the warm red blanket. Where are we going, mommy? She asked. What about my new carriage? We're going to the hospital, said mommy. Don't cry. When they reached the hospital, Tiggy whispered to one of the nurses that her leg was hurting. Don't worry, said the smiling nurse. We shall soon know what the trouble is. And Tiggy found herself being pushed along a wide corridor towards the x-ray department. X-rays are just magic pictures, Tiggy told the nurse when she was tucked in the bed at the children's ward. They don't hurt at all. And this doesn't hurt either, said the nurse. Let me have your arm, Tiggy. I want to take your blood pressure. Come along. That's a good girl. Tiggy was frightened at the strange machine. She didn't want her blood pressure taken. She pulled the sheet right up to her nose. Why, there's nothing to be scared of, said the nurse. And little Sophia in the next bed nodded her head and looked at Tiggy in great surprise. The nurse was too busy to spend any more time with Tiggy. She moved along to the next bed. Tiggy peeped out from underneath the covers to watch. You don't mind if I take your blood pressure, she said to Sophia. Let me have your arm. Of course I don't mind, said little Sophia. I'm not afraid, like some people. I'm not afraid, Tiggy thought. Not really. Poor Tiggy. Tiggy was wishing that the nurse would come back when... In time, the volunteer with a cart filled with the toys, books, and games. I'm going to let the nurse take my blood pressure, Tiggy told her as she chose a game. I'm glad to hear it, said the volunteer. Then she will know you're getting better. Oh, look at all the toys and stuff they get in the hospital. The next day, the doctor came to see Tiggy. He told her that the magic x-ray machine showed that her leg was not broken. Your nasty bump will soon disappear, he smiled. You can go home today. In the afternoon, Mommy came in to the ward with some fresh clothes for Tiggy. The nurse lifted her down from the high bed. We shall miss you, she said. And I shall miss all of you, said Tiggy. Daddy and Tracy were waiting at the door to welcome Tiggy home. Tiggy was so excited that she wanted to run all the way to the door, but Mommy kept hold of her hand. There's Daddy and her sister. Soon Tiggy was in the kitchen helping Mommy make some very special cookies. Imagine her surprise when she looked up and saw Mr. Weasel pass the window carrying a huge box. Can you guess what was in the box? Mommy guessed at once. Kind Mr. Weasel had brought another brand new carriage for Tiggy. It was just like the first one and first one when Tiggy saw it and squealed with delight. Now I can take Teddy for a walk, she said to Tracy. Poor Teddy has been missing his walks. We'll both take Tiggy out tomorrow, said Mommy. The next day, Tiggy and Mommy went shopping. When they came to the busy road, Mommy kept hold of Tiggy's hand and Tiggy kept hold of her brand new carriage. She was glad Teddy was asleep. Now then, said Mommy, let's stop here to practice crossing the street. 
We shouldn't cross, said Tiggy, until we've made sure it's perfectly safe. That's my clever Tiggy, said Mommy proudly. See, they're waiting to see, to cross the road. Oh, that's all. Did you like it? I like this story. Tiggy goes to the hospital. Love you, sweetheart.